Technique strides is a form exercise that reinforces strengths and eliminates weaknesses in runner's technique. Do technique strides as the main workout of the day. You'll need a 50 to 100 meter straightaway. Here's how technique strides works. One at a time, your runners will stride down a straightaway at a fast but controlled pace. Observe each runner and talk them through what you saw and how they can improve on the next stride. As a general guideline, have each athlete do 5 to 15 technique strides. Review their form after each stride and shift your focus to different aspects of form every few strides. Let's see how these sprinters did with their first strides. Okay, you guys did a great job, but uh, you know we can always use improvement on a few things. Jatia, first thing that I noticed that when you were coming down is you kind of chopped your steps, you didn't pick your knees up uh, high enough. So on the next one, just make sure that you're um, backing off the pace a little bit, relaxing, and swinging full arms, and making sure your knees are coming up high. Uh, Mike, when you came down the first time, you arched your back, all right, and you kept your chin up like you were looking up into the sky. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to be, you know, straight forward with the shoulders and drop the chin. Uh, try to focus about 10 yards in front of you, 10 to 15 yards on the track right in front of you. All right, let's try it again. That's it. Good knee lift. That's the way. Nice job. There you go. All the way, all the way. All the way. Stay your lane. Stay your lane. All the way, all the way, all the way. Head down. Head down more. There you go. Look down. Straight ahead with the head. There you go. Good. 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 Much better. How did the second one feel? I think maybe I was going just a little bit too high. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so on the next one, on number three, back off a little bit, try to relax your knees and, uh, and run a little, with a little bit more um, uh, relaxation. But one of the things that, that you did do is, as you came down the second time, you definitely covered uh, more ground with each step. All right, so that was to your benefit. Mike, how did it feel for you the second time? Better. Okay, yeah, the head was a lot more level for you the second time around, absolutely. Maybe something to, um, to think about on the, the third run is uh, where your foot plan is. Just make sure it's under you and that, um, that you're hitting with the middle of your foot and rolling off quickly, okay? We'll look for that on the next one. Now let's take a look at some middle school distance runners doing technique strides. Okay, you ready? Go! Good job, Margo. That's the way, swing your arms a little more. All right, all the way through to here. Good job, all right, excellent. And go. That's the way, good. Nice job all the way through the line here. That was an excellent job on the first one. Uh, you have great natural running form, but there are always some things that we can work on. So I'm gonna tell you a few of the things that we, uh, that we noticed as we went through. Your arm carriage on that one was a little bit high up here, and so you're not getting um, the balance with your legs and the prop uh, propelling that you want from using your arms. So you want to drive your elbows uh, back a little bit further. Drop your hands down and drive your elbows back a little bit further in the second run, okay? Um, on yours, it was a great stride, except I noticed you were overstriding a little bit. So shorten your stride slightly, and you'll see you'll run more relaxed, okay? We'll try another one. Ready to go? Okay, back to the start. All right, and go! Good arms, that's the way. Drive the elbows back. Nice job all the way through the line. Good arm carriage, that's the way. And go. Good job. Much better, nice job. That's the way. Excellent. That was a really good tempo. Okay, nice job each of you on the second run. Margo, great job correcting your form. We just want to watch your left arm to make sure it doesn't cut across your body. So keep it down and out, but great job on the legs and keep up the good work. Nice. And that one, did you notice how when you, uh, when you shortened your stride a little bit, you weren't um, slowing your momentum, you actually had a, a good rhythm on that one. Um, on this one, um, I want to think about having less of a back kick and a little bit more knee lift. So think about um, the front side of your action uh, rather than uh, the back side. And we'll, um, we'll critique that again and see how, it, uh, see how it goes. Here are seven pointers for the exercise. Sprinters should run at 80 to 90% of their racing effort. Distance runners can run some strides at the pace of their finishing sprint and some at their race pace. Keep your feedback specific and constructive. 
Acknowledge what your runners did well while identifying adjustments they can make to get even better. Challenge them to take the lead in identifying the strengths and weaknesses in their form. Confirm that they understand your instructions for improvements. You might need to think of different ways to give the same instruction in order to find something that resonates with a particular runner. And sometimes, a demonstration can be the clearest instruction of all. For each runner, focus on only one or two features of form at a time. Shift your focus to different aspects of form after every few strides. Given individual differences in flexibility and biomechanics, some adjustments in form may be unrealistic for certain runners. Never force these adjustments in technique. Adjustments may feel awkward at first, but they should not be uncomfortable or cause pain. And finally, give lots of recovery time between technique strides. It's counterproductive for runners to attempt major improvements in form when they're very tired. For more form fundamentals to emphasize in this exercise, see our Form 101 section.